there's a big difference between a four terminal switch and a five terminal switch for a lawn tractor. A four terminal switch will not work with a modern lawnmower engine. What I mean by a modern lawnmower engine is a magneto. To handle a motor with a magneto, you need a five terminal switch. This switch has to have the ability to ground out the magneto at this terminal here. As the engine runs, a magnetic sweeps across this coil and it goes into the spark plug. If you ground this out, then it takes the spark away from the spark plug and puts it into the engine itself. When you flip the switch off on a switch like this, it'll actually take the ground and drive it right to the magneto. The four terminal switch does not have that capability of taking the magneto and driving it to ground. If you really do want to use a four terminal switch with a motor like this, you're going to have to have a relay. I had to solder on another terminal because it broke off here. On both of these switches, you have a battery connection where you actually take battery voltage and put it onto the switch. On both of these switches, you would have an L terminal for load or lights, and that's where you could take your generator and put in voltage to be able to charge your battery. On both of these switches, you have an S terminal, which would be your starter. When you turn the key to start the engine, it takes the battery voltage and pushes it through a solenoid into a starter. On this four terminal switch, you have no ability to be able to take the key, turn it all the way off, and connect ground to the magneto. This last terminal here, would engage what's called an ignition coil. An ignition coil is different than a magneto. This terminal would not only be not negative, but it would be positive or full voltage. You could take this terminal with the full voltage, put it onto a relay, and then switch the relay to go to ground. This five terminal switch could go directly to a ground source that goes into the, the wire that comes from this terminal here on the magneto also goes onto the switch. When you turn the switch completely off, it takes the terminal from the ground to the magneto and will kill the engine. In other words, it takes the spark that's generated for the spark plug and takes it and drives it directly into the engine, killing the spark plug, which kills the engine. On this five position switch, everything's clearly marked. M for magneto, L for load, S for switch. Then we have G for ground, B for battery. On this four position, it is not clearly marked. The S terminal has G on it for some reason. The L terminal has A for accessory. The battery terminal didn't have anything on it before it broke. The L terminal is where we can charge the battery. When the mower is running, this comes from the alternator. You'll get about 30 volts AC at full The AC idle. current goes into a bridge rectifier. Once it's converted to DC, it'll go up through a wire. The wire will connect into the L. Then it'll charge the battery. There is a big difference between a four terminal and a five terminal switch.